Table Salt MTG. Welcome back, card cooks. This is Conrad from Table Salt MTG. You can see I actually have the table salt correct this time. Got a really quick video here for today. Got a, just a few packs that I picked up at my local store. Um, they had a really good deal going on. They were selling their pre-release kits for $25 and giving away prize support packs. So I have I bought six of those for my friends. We're going to do a pre-release at home sometime this week or next weekend. Maybe not next weekend because it's the fourth, but hopefully some one night this week or maybe the week after. So we've got packs for prize support because it came with two per uh, pre-release kit. Um, and then... Um, the box that I bought came with two of these, and because I bought six of the boxes, so shout out to that C in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, uh, for hooking me up. And then I've got some random Modern Masters, or Modern Masters, Modern Horizons packs to crack. Uh, so I figured I would just do a quick little video today, just open these on camera, uh, show off some of the, the cool promos that I got. You know, the gorgeous Rin and Siri Inseparable. Um, the box came with a Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress, which is awesome, and then a really cool Reliquary Tower. I guess they had some promo Reliquary Towers kicking around, so they were just giving them away to people. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start uh, with these Jumpstart. I've seen some people opening on them. They're really weird how they're double sealed, and so this is a well read. I don't know if that's one of the good ones. Uh, I haven't. I didn't really. Pay attention as much. There we go. Got the pull tab for uh, this. The then I did the uh, corset. You know, I usually follow spoilers. Oh, cool! The Ormos Arc Hive Keeper. I really like the art on this, and then I think it's just a cool card. You know, like uh, so. We'll scroll through it. Um, I mean, there's nothing too exciting past the rare in these. Uh, you basically are hoping to get um, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Um, the oh, audience yeah, kind of like uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth Robust for me, anyways. Uh, I only own one copy of Crater Hoof Behemoth, uh, so I'd like to have at least two because there's a couple decks that I could use it. And uh, right now it's in my uh, Yarrick deck. Oh, Rogues. All right, so what do we got? A uh, got the Gaunty. Gross. Hey, but uh, th another Thief uh, Guild Enforcer. I need another one of these, so that's uh, kind of exciting. But Gaunty, I've got like a million and one copies of Gaunty. They've reprinted this into the ground. Probably would have been actually valuable if they hadn't printed it as much. Uh, we're just going to scroll through really quick. Oh, what are you? Um, yeah, so we'll just uh, put that back there, and then we'll just keep going. We got, uh, we got Enchanted. Uh, I think there's a decent one in here. Because, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, Core Spirit Dancer. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, so uh, kind of whiffing here pretty hard. Pretty hard on these Jumpstart packs. But you know what, hey. They came free, so you really can't complain at the end of the day. You know? Um, like I said, it was really cool of... Uh, Gaming, <clears throat> that's the uh, entertainment to hook me up. Lightning. So what are we gonna get here? Oh, a lightning phoenix. This one's meh. And then the rest of this. I think it comes with a. I want to say there's a lightning bolt in here. Yeah, there's a lightning bolt in here. This is probably more valuable than the rare. <laughs> uh, I think it also has a chain lightning as well. All right, is there chain lightning? Mm, thought there was a chain lightning here. I guess maybe not. All right. Yeah, so I, I did not do well on those. So let's 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 hope that the uh, the I do better on these Modern Horizons packs here. What we got? All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, hey, all right, we're already doing better. Uh, Sword of Sinew and Steel. I think this is like pushing fifteen twenty dollars now. So that's exciting. Uh, you can never complain about a a good mythic. So uh, just off to the side. We'll sort these later. Um, spiteful sliver. Slivers are always worth like a buck. Yeah, you can't complain. Not, not too great there. So last but not least, but hey, you know I got a mythic out of three packs, so that's you, can't, you can never complain about that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, silent clearing. All right, yeah. Hey, you know what? I did all right on these three packs. Um, you know, silent clearing, spiteful sliver. So. 
Like I said, this was uh, just a quick video, fun little video. I just had these extra packs sticking around, so I just wanted to crack it, say hello to my card cooks, uh, my fellow peeps, and see how you're all doing out there. So just uh, keep cooking, keep creating, keep, you know, doing your thing out there, you know, mashing things together. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked this quick video in the comments in, uh, section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, this is uh, Conrad signing off uh, from Table Salt MTG, and I'll talk to you later, card cooks.